What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you a different way to draw in perspective. Now unlike the different methods of drawing in perspective that I've shown you guys how to draw in the past, this kind of perspective doesn't use vanishing points. And this is called foreshortening. So the dictionary definition of foreshortening is portraying an object as if it's either at a distance or right up close. And in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to do that with the arms. So just so you guys know, I may end up drawing a point here and there as a guide, but the points that I end up drawing will not be vanishing points. But just to reiterate, whatever point that I use as a guide to help us draw the arm and help us foreshorten it, it's not going to be a vanishing point like one, two, and three point perspective that I've shown you guys how to draw in the past. But if you want links to those videos, they'll be right here in the card and there will be links to those videos in the description. But now that the intro is out of the way, let's get started. So as you can see, I have my little character here and his arms are at a normal position. So let me bring over a little diagram that I made for you guys. So this is just a picture of a fashion model. And as you can see, a fashion model's arms are at the same normal position as this character. And the way I have this drawing set up, the hand will be lifting high in the sky as if it's reaching for something. Therefore, when we begin to draw the arm, this little oval over here on this fashion model, this will be elevated just a little bit, just to help give the arm a little tilt, or the shoulder at least. So we're gonna come down here and sort of make an oval in a different position. And we're gonna attempt to make it the same size. And that's where we're gonna work from. Okay, and then let, let's get rid of this one too. And then let's draw a dot in the middle just to help us map out the direction of the arm. But again, this is not a vanishing point. Okay, and now I'm gonna grab my ruler and we're gonna determine the direction of the arm. Where exactly is it reaching? So let's determine right over here. And we're gonna just draw a line straight, okay? And using this line as a guide, we can begin to draw some cylinders because when you're drawing the arm in general, you may end up using a 3D shape like cylinders and spheres as a guide. So the base of a cylinder is a circle and at a different point of view, it may be classified as an oval or an ellipse. So what we did earlier, we gave ourselves a starting point and now we're ready to begin, begin. But before we do that, let's determine a stopping point for the arm. And I'd say right about here is a good spot. So I'm gonna draw like a big cylinder over here. I know that's kind of off center, but I'm doing my best here. Okay draw a point in the middle and we're going to use these two ends of this ellipse and these two ends down here and we're going to connect the two so we got this point and this point this point and this point okay and now we can determine like a halfway point so we can draw the sphere that's going to be the elbow of the arm so let's say a stopping point would be about right here. And remember, this is halfway. So let me draw that in. And now that we're here, we can begin to draw a sphere. And this cylinder here would cover up a portion of this sphere. So you don't have to worry about getting every single detail of the sphere because, you know, there's something on top of it which covers it. So just understand that. Okay, and then the rest, you can... And then underneath the sphere, you can begin to make the other cylinder which connects back to the body. Alright, and now we have our basic shapes here. I know it's a little bit warped or distorted, whatever you want to call it. I know that I know that it looks that way, but we'll be getting rid of these basic shapes later. And now let's come back up here 
and I'm gonna draw like a basic hand movement. And like I said from the beginning, this character here will be reaching for something. And I kinda already have something drawn here. That's supposed to be the string of a balloon. So let's say the character let his balloon loose and he's trying to reach up and grab it before it goes wet, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna quickly sketch in the hand movement that's reaching for the balloon. And I'm gonna make this hand large in size because look at the guide that we drew. Cause you see how wide this ellipse is from the body. And you see how wide this ellipse is that's on that's onto the hand. See that difference? And that's what's driving me to make this hand the size that I'm making it. And you don't have to make it big, huge, large. Just make it big enough so that it fits into the drawing or at least makes sense. And then I'm just gonna draw the palm. And then the hand cuts off of the page too, so um, just be cautious of that because I don't have big, huge, large paper either. But if you guys do want to learn how to draw hands, I got three videos on drawing different hand movements. Two of those videos are public here on YouTube and the other is exclusive on my Patreon. So links to those videos will be in the description as well. And there will be a link to my Patreon so that way you can get to the other hands video that's exclusive over there. But I think this specific hand movement was in my first How to Draw Hands video. But yeah, that hand looks pretty good. And then I can just draw in the string. As if he made a successful effort to grab the balloon before it went away. I'm just gonna color that in. Help separate that from the hand. And yeah, but now that we drew the hand, let's come back down to the arm. And we're gonna use lots of curved lines to define the bones, the muscles, and any fat that's within this arm. Because our guide is drawn, which really helps us out. So what we're gonna do now is, let me grab a darker pencil. And from the wrist, which is about right here, and about right here as well, I'm gonna begin to make a curve, kind of like an eggplant shape. And then I'm gonna curve out past this cylinder, and then I'm gonna stop onto this sphere. And I can come in, I think, a little bit from the wrist. I'm gonna do that same thing. So we're gonna curve out, then back in, so that it touches the sphere. And see? And now we're gonna do that same thing coming back to the body. So coming back to the body, it's gonna be a little bit more straight compared to these curves. So as I'm coming in to the body, I'm actually gonna provide like a little, um, what is it, like a crease over here? Because that's gonna be the shoulder. And that's gonna come into the neck. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm actually gonna add another curve down here for the armpit. But of course I'm gonna put clothes on this character, but you know, in case you're doing some nude studies or whatever for class or whatever the case may be, um, an armpit would go here. Okay. And then we can just finish this other side of the arm. And that's going to curve to the other part of the body. That's past the arm. Okay, so now let me... Uh, okay, so now let me take my eraser and get rid of all these guidelines that we don't need anymore. Ten seconds later. Okay, and since I'm over here in this area still, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna add like a, a shirt or at least a sleeve to this other side because a shirt is already defined on this side. I'm just really completing it over here. So just a little curve. 
like a like the Nike curve and then complete the sleeve because that's really self-explanatory and then just finish that up and then I can just finish the shirt which is really easy and just erase all the arm parts that are shown still that we don't need and then just a few wrinkles and then really quickly I'm just gonna come up to the hand and um, you know finish that up I'm gonna use my uh, 8B pencil to do that. I'm gonna do that in time lapse and then I'm gonna come back down to this part of the drawing. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now coming back here, let me see if I can zoom out so I can show you guys the entire drawing. All right, and there you go. That's how you foreshorten arms. And notice how we did that without any horizon line going straight across, no vanishing points. Only had to use the ruler one time and see how simple that was. So I would say foreshortening is like an easier and more simpler way to draw in perspective. Maybe not exactly, but you know. But anyways, if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't.